Marvelous. Well, good night, Mr. Conductor, or the drawing of said figure. I'll make you extra perfect by placing the glitter on you. Then you'll be as shiny as ever. Aha, I'm free at last. Now I'm up to the task. I'll make sure that Mr. Conductor will be plain, and that way you will be framed. Mr. Conductor, stop playing games. Go to bed or... Wait, you're not Mr. Conductor. You must be his twin. Ah, yes, I am. Sam, I am. Now I shall flee across the dam to a place far, far away where I will go have fun and make them play. Not on my watch, you don't. Try as you might, I shall not stop. Not until I get what I want. I must warn shiny time before it's too late. Bother! Come on, Pete and Boomer. You had an idea. There. If we weaken the bars, then we can escape and... No need for that. When I'm here, our destination is here. All right, you scumbag Perdu. No, no, wait, wait. I am not who you see. I am the one who is the mirror image of me. Wait. You're his evil twin? Yes, yes, I want to help you in your conquest for the impending doom. Wait, that's it! He won't mash us out of the cell, so we can run away with the diesels. Ah, yes, that I shall. We'll all get out. Then we'll be all pals, conquering the railways tonight's end. Who knows what lies around the next bend? Botheration. What's wrong, Thomas? I wanted to catch up with Ashima, then Sir Tomat and Mr. Star interrupted my conversation. I'm so cross right now. I know you wanted to catch up, but this stone needs to get delivered once completed. Then you can gossip. Thomas understood what Kate said, so he reluctantly coupled up to the trucks, and Thomas made his way to the docks. The trucks did not dare play tricks on Thomas, though few wanted to. Thomas kept a very close eye on the trucks until he reached the docks with no mishap. Quickly, Cranky loaded the stone out of the trucks, Thomas was uncoupled, and the ship sailed into the sun, as Thomas made his way back thinking of what he could say to Mr. Star when he next saw him. Meanwhile, Red Claw had the surprise of his life. Hello, Red Claw. Well, well, well. It is Dino Dan's old sidekick, P.T. Boomer. And how did you get out of prison and Sailor John? I escaped thanks to this rhyming buffoon. It's Mr. Conductor. Destroy him. Wait, wait, before you start playing the blame game, this is his twin. Apparently some idiot created him. Oh yes, Mr. Jamie King. I was once a drawing of imagination that came to life. I changed his mind when I gave him the biggest fright. Does he do this all the time? Well, we'll have to put up with it, but he could be of use to our devious scheme. I see where this may be going. Do tell. All that it will take a flick of my wrist, and the magic will be gone. The railroad it relies on will die, and soon will be flying high. The conductors will be no more other than me, and the world will all soon see. I like where this is going. Perfect ploy, but we need something to lure those conductors to their ultimate doom. Ah yes, Mr. J.B. King Esquire exalted a... Uh, head? Get me out of here, schemer! Whoa, 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 what happened? It's a long story, but... It's locked! Yes, I know, I've tried everything, but listen. One Miss Jones, two feathers, and shining time of what has happened. I've been trapped by Mr. Conductor's evil twin. I'll do my best, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on? Mr. J.B. King Esquire Exalted Head has been trapped in his home by someone. Who was it? The evil twin of Mr. Conductor. We'll have to warn everyone. Come on, Patch. Let's get to Shining Time. Need a lift, Schemer? Sure, why not? I've not been on a horse in a... Luxurious, isn't it, my lady? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Wait. The leaves are dying. My whistle! It's not working! Something is not right at all. That's because your downfall is in sight, Panette Stone. Something is not right at all. My sparkle stopped working all of a sudden. Same here, cuz. Whoever is doing this, I swear I will. Look, there's the third Mr. Conductor. 
Thoughts can always be deceiving, especially those who assume too much. But now all shall be a silent hush. Mr. Conductors, whatever you did, undo whatever you did to them. Or expect far worse from us. Catch me if you can, that is, if you have the flight of that pan. Father, I'll call Joey and Mickey to see what they can do to help. I'll help around the engines of the sheds. While that was going on, meanwhile, Thomas was still cross with Mr. Star when... That son of a... Hey! Ashima! Let go, you rude diesel! Rude I am not, but I will be if you do not cooperate. Oh, Ashima! Wait, I'll save you! Wait, Thomas. Before we get into more trouble, I suggest we head back to the sheds and inform Sir Top Hat. But Ashima, she's... Thomas, listen. I know she is in trouble. Do you want to be in a predicament or not? You're right. Let's head back. But who is that Diesel? <laughs>